Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you about our solution for QR code integration and uh, the solution for stock checking in SAP. So uh, first of all, I will talk about the solutions for QR code integration. The advantages of the QR code is that it can be contained much more information than the normal barcode. But the QR code needs to be structured that the scan application could interpret it. In our QR code solution, we build a QR code by concatenating some material information like material number, material unit into two parts. And those are separated by a special character that is the vertical bar. You could see there the characters on the position I mark uh, I, I put here. Then we go to the the detail for the QR code. As you could see on uh, this screen, uh, we could define the information type for its part and its position in the QR code string here. The first part, I define the material number, and the second part is the unit. And so, the material number will have a position 1, and the unit will have position 2. In case of you would like to make the QR code string more formal, you might need to define the maximum length and the prefix. If the information uh, does if this information is uh, supplied, the program will add the prefix into its part value uh, to make a new string with half the length equal to their maximum length. For example, my material number has length 2 digits and I would like to display it longer, 13 digits in this example, and it will start with the 0 digits. So, I must define the max length is 13 and the prefix is 0. After defining the QR code structure, we can uh, run the QR code printing application to print out the material in the unit that we need. So let's start the, uh, the QR label printing. In here, we, uh, I, I, in this example, I would like to print 10 QR labels for router printer and file label for pin AA. After enter the quantity, you can click on the print button and the result. After printing uh, the, 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 the material labels, uh, you could base uh, the, those labels on the goods. And this will also mean they are ready for stock checking. So then we go to the next process. That is stock checking. In this process, this first thing, the first thing uh, we need to do is creating a new a physical inventory document for a list of materials that we need to check by using the transaction code MI01. So, click on create button, enter the material number, Uh, printer A A okay <clears throat> then click save And you could see the masses uh, at the bottom, other corner, the left corner. Um, 
the system says the physical inventory document the system needs to create it. After a new, a new physical inventory document created, then you can ask your employee to go to the store and check all the material in the list. For scanning the barcode, we also develop the mobile application for which can be used to scan the barcode, a QR code, and send data to SIB. So uh, we will run the stock checking report for stock checking process. Here you, as you can see on the screen, the, you see the physical number, inventory document number, the count date and fiscal year, and the company code, play, historic location. Then click on the execute button. And you receive a error message to uh, stay the posting only possible in period. Uh, January of 2019. So I, I will change the count date, month of the count date and start. And you can see uh, there are three material in the list. Uh, those are created in, uh, in the, in, in the physical inventory document. Uh, when I, uh, in, by using the t uh, transaction code, uh, MI01. But, uh, the quantity check now is still zero because, uh, we need to wait for the data from the, from their, uh, from their, the mobile device. Now let's start the mobile application for scanning barcode. You are good for stock checking process. Tap on the app icon. Then tap on the SV logo. Before scanning the barcode, the QR code, we need to establish the connection to SMB first. Tap on the connect button. There will be a message to notify you about the connection status. If the connection has been failed, you need to press on the connection button again until you see the message says message. When the connection has established successfully, you can start scanning the barcode, the QR code, by tap on the top button. This application enables you to scan barcode, uh, QR code, by using camera. Uh, for using this uh, functionality, you can tap on the camera button at the bottom to launch the camera scanning. Now I start scanning a QR code. This code will be sent to SAB for reading material information at the first time. Let's go back to check the information of scanning materials. And you can see on the screen there are two materials and they all get their green status. It means they are they are uh, can be found in SME system. Please uh, now we go to the detail bay for checking detail information. And you can see in the in this way the material information has been taken from SB and display on the screen. Uh, it's just to make sure that the material is existing. So now I will scan a non-existing QR code. The application play a beep sound to notify you that material could not be found. In this case, you should go to the previous page for checking the reason and should remove this new item from the list. The mobile application can also connect to the barcode device for reading the material more quickly and exactly by using Bluetooth. 
when all data is ready and can be sent, you go back to the base, go to the previous page, and tap on the send to SMB button. Uh, in this in this page, you sh uh, you have to enter the company code, plane, and storage location. And then uh, tap on the send button at the bottom. When you send data to SMBs, will be safe in the section and clear the current scanning data, and you can send them again. Now we go to the stock checking bay for checking the, the the list, the material list. Now there is nothing in the list. After the data has been sent to SMB successfully, you can check the result in the history page. You can also delete or update scanning data in this page. So now we go back to the SMB system uh, for running their stock checking report. After scanning data from the store completed by mobile application, now we go for counting the quantity. Let's refresh the stock checking data by clicking on the button in the report. Click on the reload button. So now the check quantity has been updated and it's ready for counting. Here you see uh, the brother printer have three items and the cigarette five have five have two items. But uh, the BNAA, there's no item, so it will be uh, zero count. And, uh, and so uh, for counting, uh, we just uh, click on the button, click on the count button and see the result. As you can see, the message uh, at the bottom, a uh, left corner, it say the count change for physical inventor document. And this may and this is the success message. And you could also the result also see the result at the column uh, quantity counted is uh, is being updated and now uh, the counted quantities and the quantity check are, are the same. So let's go to the transaction M I twenty for checking the difference. So uh, in uh, in this um, application, we see we have uh, the book quantity and quantity counted and different quantity. Uh, the different quantity is the the difference between the book quantities and the counted quantity. In my example, the book quantities for all uh, check materials are zero. Therefore, the difference equal to the counted quantity. And uh, when you sure all the data is correct, you can click on the button most different to most the physical inventory document to close the stock staking process. So after you uh, you post this uh, physical inventory document, is uh, this this document will be closed and uh, and the the uh, the quality in the store will be updated to. Uh, uh, the countest uh, quantity. So uh, now my video clip is uh, is uh, finished, and uh, thanks for watching very much.